Let's talk about the TUN or TAP kernel device driver that just saw a 1,000 times improvement in speed. Let's look at this kernel.org description of what TUN or TAP controls or drives. TUN TAP provides packet reception and transmission for user space programs. So this is important. It can be a simple point to point or ethernet device, which instead receiving packets from physical media receives them from user space programs and instead of sending packets via physical layer media through the kernel, it writes them to the user space program. So you still might be asking yourself, what does this all mean? But really just to give you an example and break down TUN or TAP, where are these mainly used? Well, they're used wherever virtual interfaces, so something between softwares that exist on a system, so I'm gonna call S1, S2, where you need to bridge these connections and you can do this with a virtual connection. Let's think virtual machines, with other LAN devices that are together or VPNs that connect to your LAN. Basically, it's a pipe between the user space application and the kernel driver layer that can simulate a network connection between softwares. Either way, for example, one thing that might use it is OpenVPN. Another thing that you're probably familiar with is QEMU, the hypervisor emulator for virtual machines. So how in the world did this driver just receive a 1,000 X improvement. Well, this patch has been recently submitted. Let's go through the patch here, but before we do smash that like button for me for some awesome kernel news. So this patch here was supplied by Ilya and what it says here, the 10 megabits per second link speed was set in 2004 when an ethernet tool interface was initially added to the TUN driver. It might have been a good assumption 18 years ago, almost two decades, but CPUs and network stacks have come a long way since then. Other virtual ports typically report much higher speeds. For example, the VETH or the virtual ethernet reports 10 gigabits per second since its introduction in 2007. So some user space applications still rely on the current link speed in certain situations. For example, Open vSwitch is using link speed as an upper bound for the quality of service configuration if a user didn't specify the maximum rate. So one thing I do wanna say is a lot of people who have uh, familiarity with this TUN virtual adapter will know that it has an upper bound limit of the 10 megabits per second. So they automate the configuration so that it actually configures itself to something higher than the 10 megabits per second. And that process is probably streamlined by many of these people who are already aware of this. If you're dealing with these types of things day in and day out, you kind of learn the insides and out of the kernel and then actually specify what you need from the kernel. Instead of relying on old code from back in 2004 when it was first set and not being up to modern reality. So anyways, going back into here does not match the reality in a modern world. So users have to always manually override the value with something more sensible. So that's right there what I was talking about. They have to actually update that themselves to avoid configuration issues, example, limiting the traffic too much. This also creates additional confusion among users. So people who don't understand this might be asking questions, where in the world is my bottleneck coming from? It could be from that VTAP or TUN adapters. So what the proposed change here is to at least match virtual ethernet at 10 gigabits per second speed. Also, it seems like a more or less fair assumption these days, even though CPUs can do more. Alternative might be to explicitly report unknown and let the application or user decide on the right value for them. Basically, what's being said here is they're going to up the value from 10 megabits per second all the way up to 10 gigabits per second, giving us that thousand times improvement in speed on these kernel device drivers. Let's actually check out the code here because it's kind of funny to see how easy this patch was. It's just a matter of a suggestion by Ilya. And let's see here, here is the submission. So the command base speed is set to speed 10. And all they did was add three zeros at the end and made the command base speed 10,000 instead of 10. And that's clearly in megabits per second, at least according to the information above. And for the drivers in the network repo, tun.c kernel driver. It's quite fascinating to see some of these things that have remained stagnant inside the kernel for almost two decades. Now this isn't affecting 
many people, but it is good that we have kernel developers who go looking back at previous code and trying to dissect it to really see if it's up to modern standards. And here's a perfect example of a old driver that's been probably overlooked over the years, or at least no one has bother to put in the effort to read through and maybe change some values just to test it out and make it better, especially for modern hardware design. A lot of people have been probably getting around this problem by automating the configuration themselves and getting away from the slower speeds. But again, it's great to see developers going back and revamping that old code. Either way, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.